gross. Howdy folks, it's old Magnus Booner. First thing I want you to do is smack that subscribe button for me, because you're not going to want to miss any of the epic content that I keep creating for you. Today, we're going to do a short video, and I'm going to review this. It is my Smith & Wesson Model 18. When I first moved here to the city, I would go down to my dad's about every weekend and I'd go shooting. I stayed very proficient that way, but the more I got ingrained into the community here, I started spending most of my weekends in town. Well soon, my pistol shooting, specifically my double action revolver shooting, really started to degrade. And that was embarrassing. And so I got myself a membership here at a local gun range called, uh, called Wade's in Bellevue. It's not far from where I live, so that's handy. Now I make it to the range about once a week, sometimes once every other week, and I do a lot of revolver shooting, so I'm proficient again. Having a 22 revolver to train on really helps me shoot my 44 Magnum and my 357 Magnum more accurately. This is my Smith & Wesson Model 18. Let's take a close look at it. As you can see, it's unloaded. It's just a 22 revolver built on a K frame, which is the 38 Special frame. This is essentially the 22 version of the Smith & Wesson Model 15. I use it as a trainer for my Smith & Wesson Model 66 and my Model 629. These have the recessed cylinders, and the barrel is also pinned. This is the Model 18-3 which I think means it was made in the mid to late 70s to the early 80s. I put these Jerry Mikulik stocks on here because I don't like the, uh, the standard Smith & Wesson grip, those old Coke bottle grips. This is a much more practical grip if you're actually shooting the gun. And it's the same grip that my Model 66 wears. These have the standard Smith & Wesson adjustable sight. There is no white outline and no red ramp. It fires in single action or double action. I won't dry fire it because it's a rim fire and that's a no-no. These do have fairly stiff springs in them making it a, uh, a harder double action trigger pull but I've put a lot of rounds through this and uh, it's not hard to manage and I can shoot accurately double action. Well hey I hope you enjoyed that video. Share it with your friends and uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section.